Speaking of Billings business, the NAIA Women's Basketball Tournament wraps up its second year here in the Magic City tonight with, of course, the national title game down at Rimrock Auto Arena. And that's where we find sports director Scott Breen tonight to shed some light on this tournament's impact on the local economy. Scott, how's it going? Yeah, going well, Jay. And, uh, you know, 32 basketball teams from across the nation journeyed to Billings to decide this national title. As it turns out tonight, it'll be California against Tennessee. In the meantime, we bring in Alex Tyson from right here, visit Billings in Billings. And uh, I'll tell you what, you guys brought this tournament to us last year from Kansas City. Build as a giant success, graded against this year so far. So far, so good. I can tell you that the crowds, we, having four Montana teams really helped us a lot. Plus, just the community and the residents were all behind it again this year. Uh, last year, we were at 12,993 attendees through the door for the duration of the tournament. As of Saturday night, through this last Saturday night, we were at 13,614. So last night, we had to have had about 2,500 plus. And then going into tonight, I'm pretty proud of, uh, of what this community has done. We should be about 15,000 in attendance. Well, let me ask you this. That's terrific. You know, you with the basketball teams come in, there are actually six tournament dates where they play down here. They get the off day on Sunday. Uh, teams come in a couple of days in advance, maybe stay from three days to anywhere to eight or nine days if they're playing tonight for the title. Worth it for Billings. Absolutely. Hands down, it's worth it. I mean, if you've walked into any restaurant or hotel or if you've been around Metro Park at all this weekend, you've noticed an impact for sure. Um, and we got to remember it might be the first day of spring, but we're still smack dab in the middle of winter. Um, so for us to go from, you know, all class wrestling to A divisionals, B divisionals, state basketball right into this really, really helps out the community economically. We're looking at some video now of the tournament to this point and uh, four Montana teams in here playing as well. Almost UM Western into the almost, championship almost, tonight. Gosh darn it, yeah. One of the cool things though were the kids that you brought in, the uh, the elementary school kids. Yeah. Kind of give me a rundown on that. Absolute highlight. Yeah. Uh, we had 3,000 students, uh, school days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, part of the Champions of Character with Cooper Tire and Shields Youth Impact uh -huh. Day. Um, you know, we had kids here who had never been in this building. Mm -hmm. We had students who had never done a transaction at concessions, who had never read a bracket. Uh, that's impact. And um, they came back and back, and we hope that they brought their parents, and hopefully we'll see some of them tonight. But a complete and total shout-out to the elementary schools uh, in Billings, mm -hmm. South Central Montana, Southeastern Montana, for making it um, an opportunity for these students to be exposed to this caliber of play. These student athletes are uh, amazing, amazing young ladies. All right, well, we've got about 15 seconds left, so I'll get you out of here on this question. Uh, we're locked into this tournament for next year. That's what right. happens beyond that? Uh, beyond that, the hoteliers, which are the financial backer, will go ahead and take a look at the finances from this year. Um, it makes sense for the community no matter what, but somebody's got to be the person right. that pays in case something happens, and we'll take a look in April and decide uh, if we want to uh, go ahead and lock it in for 2020. All right, Alex Tyson nailed it as usual with Visit Billings. Thanks. Appreciate your time, absolutely. Again, Jay, tonight it is California Westmont of California against Freed Hardeman from Tennessee. That tips off for the National Women's Championship for NAIA at 7 o'clock. Coming up in sports, don't miss our Q2 Athlete of the Week. Just literally a glutton for punishment, sort of. Send it back to you. All right, thank you, Scott.